Uh, you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. Just be louder than everybody else. So like a Indonesian farmer. past tense is the makes an adjectival clause, which is, okay, if something is a misunderstanding, which is the tokma, first, okay, first. of the yen lak chim yi, of the twelve links, mm -hmm. okay, then it must be kya, okay, it must be, tokma is a hard word, this is, this topa, when you have an S on it, mm -hmm. it means Under, uh, realize. to realize. <laughs> but when you don't have an S on it, it means you think, or uh, some kind of idea. So, but it implies a wrong idea. Mm -hmm. He has some idea, I don't like him. But, mm -hmm. it, but I really do. So that's topa, uh, with this no S. Same pronunciation, unfortunately. So they have some idea which holds to the person, to a person. As being three things. It's always three things. Tak, chi, and rang wang chen. And here's the as. Do means as. It holds simba as being tak, chi, rang wang chen. Tak, tak ma, singular. Singular. One whole thing. One whole thing. <laughs> and rang wang chen means independent. Independent. And that's the lowest of the Mahamudra. Six flavors of emptiness. Okay? That's the lowest. Oh. That's the lowest. The emptiness of that is the lowest version of, of no self nature. Something. No, uh, not money. Well, you can say emptiness if you want to be easy about it. Uh, the emptiness of being those three things, of people being unchanging. And the emptiness of them being one whole thing, and the emptiness of them being independent. And this pretty much describes, you know, when I grew up in the Christian church, uh, which I still love very much, and I still go sometimes, uh, but they teach about soul. And, uh, you know, if I die before I wake, 
pray the Lord my soul to take. Then you say, Mom, what's a soul? So what's inside you? And you're like, hmm. And then, uh, you know, how big is it? Well, about this big. And then, uh, what's it like? And she said, well, it never dies. So talk, okay? Unchanging. Chick, it's a, it's a little ball. And uh, Ramon Chen, it's on its own. You know, the body can die. <coughs> The body can die and it will go to heaven. You see what I mean? And we believe that. And, and it's a human desire to have a piece of you like that. You know, there should be some part of me which is me, my spirit. Okay? So that kind of describes that, the first kind. And, and Buddhism says no such thing. You are the triggering of your karmas. You know? So, if you, you, so you have to be nice to other people. There's no choice, because you are the result of that. You're, when you continue, you are the triggering of those karmas. Okay? Mm -hmm. And they never stop, and they never started. Mm -hmm. So it's just a question of what content you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. uh, now, what comes next is his counterexample, counter our counterexample. Something which is, is wrong, which makes is, that wrong. Mm -hmm. So, you want to read it? Let's put it at the top. Dukte Loma Gyurpe Kansaki Gyuki Yanlap Chuni Kitokmar Gyurpe Maripa Chitan. Are we going up or down? It's, we just gave a counterexample. So, they are tall. Yeah, it's they're sarcastic. They are tall. Are you telling me that? They are tall. They are tall. They are tall. They are tall. Chuchen de in Good. Okay. Anybody want to take a shot? Dukte Loma Gyorwa. That's the key word here. What's Dukta? I am. Siddhanta. Siddhanta. That's his subject. Uh, the schools of philosophy. Dukta. All the schools of philosophy. Could be Buddhist, could be non Buddhist. Gyor? To become? No. No. Here it's the raw meaning of beer. BS, not apostrophe. Yeah, raw meaning. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, it means to change. To change. Uh, change. Uh, okay. So what's it mean? It doesn't change. According They're low. Uh, mind, mind, mind doesn't change. Has mind not change. been influenced by. Uh, oh. Which by, uh, by any change. school. Okay. Dupta, Dupta is instrumental mm -hmm. with the mm -hmm. S. Mm -hmm. And it means uh, their mind has not been influenced by other people teaching them. Okay. Like they would grow up on an island by themselves. Okay, and uh, their opinions are not coming because they went to classes. Because they, their themselves. opinions are natural, inborn. So we say two possibilities. You have a viewpoint, Shenke, Sujata. Sujata came with your birth. Or, or uh, you've been influenced by meeting people and they teach you things. Mm -hmm. So this is called not influenced, not influenced. The by other schools of philosophy. Mm -hmm. This person, their mind, gyu, mm -hmm. mind stream, mm -hmm. santana. Mm -hmm. Let's take the first link, which is the misunderstanding, which is the first link of the twelve, in the mind stream of a person whose mind hasn't been influenced by <coughs> different schools of <coughs> philosophy. Okay, Natural person, churchin. Okay? Mm -hmm. Are you telling me, okay, that misunderstanding they have is this kind of belief that the person is unchanging, singular, and independent. And independent. So what did you just learn about this viewpoint? Think about it. It's something that comes about naturally without any influence. Opposite. Oh. <laughs> All these are basically uh, okay. learned later on. Yeah. Influenced this by belief your is your mom is telling you about yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, you see what I mean? Yeah, Nobody has this belief naturally. I, right. I'm not sure I believe it. <laughs> but uh, because I mean, I so think it's a sort of a human hunger mm -hmm. to yeah. believe this about yourself. But but the, the classical position of our school mm -hmm. is that this is learned from your mom or, mm -hmm. or your school or something like that. Wrong, wrong, specifically. Yeah, people wrong wouldn't come up with it on their own. No. Hmm. Well, 
So the classical position of Buddhism is that this first wrong view is learned. Okay. So he said all misunderstandings which act to spin the wheel of samsara have to be this one. Okay. Okay. Which is the first kind of ignorance in the sixth. But we say, well, what about ignorance in the mind of a person who hasn't been influenced by other people? Okay? Are you telling me it's the belief in a self which is unchanging, singular, and independent? And he says, why you say that? Between here, he said, chichir. And we said, dechir. Because it is the first link. Because it's what we said it is. Okay? It's the example we chose. Okay, mm -hmm. but you can't agree mm -hmm. that it's the belief that the person is unchanging, singular, and independent because it's the example we chose. Mm -hmm. And the example we chose is a person whose mind hasn't been influenced. Mm -hmm. What it means is both the opponent and us, we, we already agree that this has to be learned. Okay, mm -hmm. it, So this argument is based on an opponent who already believes that that belief has to be learned. Yeah. It has to be learned from your parents or your school or something like that. Okay. Okay. But that's all implied. Yes, uh, I mean, yeah, it's implied that they both agree. Yeah. Because our only defense of our position is, it's the example I gave you. Yeah. <laughs> so the the Im implication is that the opponent already believes that that's all we can learn. Uh -huh. And we don't have more argument than that. We're going to get more in uh, Shemu. Sorry, it's up to What's up to Debating their position. All your text is built in debate style. Mm -hmm. It always has three parts Shemu Gapa. Shemu Gapa. Exposition of their yeah, position. Yeah, we deny their, deny. their position. Yeah. Gapa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then Rangu Shakpa. We put forward our position. We say what we believe. Okay. And then Supapoma. Debating yeah, he gets to come back and criticize us, okay. and then we defend ourselves. Okay. So there's always three steps to your style okay. of text. Mm -hmm. And this is Buddhist pedagogical system. This is Buddhist educational system. Instead of Western, only has this one. Mm -hmm. Here's what's correct. Okay. Duck, duck, duck. But in a Buddhist education, they first they tell you everything that's not correct. <laughs> And there's a fight. And it's more fun. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a fight going on, you know. So it's called <laughs> defeating the other guy. Okay. Then, uh, then we say, okay, you want to know what we really believe? Here's what we really believe. And that's called Rang Shakpa. But then a very beautiful thing is he gets to come back and say, but wait, I disagree about this, about your system. So Tsupapoma means you, get, you have to defend yourself against his criticism of your idea. And it's kind of fair. It's more fair. It's more democratic. Mm -hmm. And the student learns much more because this one and this one will cover all the common misunderstandings mm -hmm. about Buddhism. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you teach people by teaching them how the misunderstandings are wrong. Mm -hmm. And if the presentation is good, when, by the time you get to here, the students should be able to write it themselves. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Because uh, they know what's wrong. Mm -hmm. They know all the wrong things. Okay. So what's the next thing you have in your text? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> now we'll give our system. Oh. And classically, you get, classically, you, you, you often get three parts. Number one, they will define things. They'll give the formal definitions, number one. Number two, they will give the classical divisions of the thing. And then number three, they will give senshi means classical examples. Okay. Sorry, what is the first one again? Uh, definitions. Oh, definition. <coughs> like right now we're on the, we're on the subject. Uh, We're on the definition of misunderstanding. Okay. This is the definition mm. of misunderstanding. <coughs> so we went through all that stuff just to hear all the wrong ideas about mis oh. misunderstandings about misunderstandings. <laughs> and now we're going to hear the real definition. Oh, and then wow. classically they will divide it okay. into the different types. Mm -hmm. And then they'll, he's going to give some synonyms.
-huh. And then they might often give real examples. Oh, wow. Okay. This is classical Buddhist text. Okay. You have a very <coughs> classical text. Your collect text is 16th century. Mm. You know, very classical. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay. Rang, and this is a... So here's <coughs> the definition of ignorance. Mm. Here's the definition of misunderstanding. Cool. Mm, cool. But unfortunately, it's lower middle. Okay. Okay. But it's still pretty hard. It. Okay, so here we go. You want to read it? Rangi mikyo, mikyo, do gyote, kang sok dang le, dre, ki, drel wa rakpa kang rung la mik ne, rang top ki rang ki ki stretch it out ki ah ki rang kya tupe. Say you do zin pa dang rang top ki mong pe mong pa kang rung ki du pe sen jung mong pa ma marik pe sen yin. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. uh, he, like he's he's got to cover uh -huh. all the possible, all the possibilities. So he's a debater. He's covering himself. It's like a contract. It's, it's very similar to a legal contract. <laughs> he has to think what all the possible things can go wrong. <coughs> so he's covering himself. Yeah, Rangi Mikyo. Mikyo, you have to learn, it means the object towards which a, an awareness is focused. Okay, object of focus. Mm -hmm. It's object of focus. By the way, it doesn't have to be me. It's distinguished from Zintangi, which we're going to have later, I think, in words text. Word text gave me a headache. Zintangi, uh, yeah. which means how you take the object. Uh, right. The object you think is there, okay. as opposed to the object you're looking at. So there's a distinction made in Buddhism between the object you're looking at and the object you think you see. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then there's the object you think you believe. There's Shenyu, Zimtangi, Mikyu. Okay, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, and they're different. Mm -hmm. yeah, one can be one way and one can be another. Okay. Is this very lower middle way? Really That's higher. higher. Uh, the anyway, object you think uh, you believe. Rangi Mikyu really means that. Really there. So we're just saying the object that you're focused on, we're not saying how you take it. Okay. So it's more like this and not how you take it. Okay. So. The, the, f the thing that it focuses on is either the person, person. okay, or the drawa between le and de. Connection with cause and effect. Yeah, karma and yeah the, the relationship between, between karma and its consequences. I like to say consequences because cool. rather than result, because it's more clear. Gyun de, <laughs> cause and effect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Len de, Karma and its consequences, or actions and their consequences. I prefer the translation. Uh, and this is a, a miscarving. Okay. They say when he got old, his eyes went bad. He's an art textbook writer from Mars College. And he held them up with toothpicks. Because they had no glasses. They had no glass. So he would hold his eyes up with toothpicks. And then they say he got distracted and made some... Grammar. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, it's interesting. What did we learn so far? In this system, the first link, which causes all the suffering in the world, which spins the wheel of samsara, the first link can be focused on two different things. Okay. The, either the Person. Person. person or Le the Le connection, Le connection. Yeah, karmic correlations, which is Seiji's subject. You see what I mean? Uh, <coughs> Dawa, and not just any karmic correlations, Rakpa. Gross. The obvious no, ones. The obvious ones. As opposed to the subtle, subtle ones, which we said yesterday in the, in the DCI class can only be seen correctly by a Buddha, for example. Okay? So they're giving you a break here. Uh, Kang Rung, somebody tell me accurately what it means. <laughs> Which, uh, whatever is suitable, whatever can be called or something. Wonder. Uh, either or both. Good. Oh. Okay. Either, either one separately or both. One or more. Uh, 
Yeah. Some one on ones. I like to translate it as some one on ones. Don't do that. Something like that. Uh, I'm not sure or ones is appropriate here. <laughs> if it's not, you can skip it. Okay. I'm not sure it's even possible to focus on both at the same time. It may not be. You have to think about it. Okay. La Migne, having focused on those, one of those two things, what? Person or obvious connections between karma and results. Rang Topki, uh, this is a qualifier <laughs> often used in mental functions. And it means on its own. On its own? On its own accord. It doesn't require another <coughs> mental function to do its thing. Okay? Mm. Some mental functions cannot act on their own. They need the support of, a, of another mental function. Anger has to have the support of perception. perception. You, know, you have to see your husband to get angry at him. I mean, you can do it in bed also, but when you're thinking. <laughs> but generally, there are some mental functions which cannot function on their own. But this one can. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, in fact, it does. Rang toki. So, of its own power, of its own accord. Okay. Uh, now, rang kya say rang kya tupe. Rang kya tupe. Zeya. Zeya. Rang kya tupe. Rang kya tupe. Zeya. Zeya. The important word here is zeya. 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 Zeya means uh, what? Substance. Substantial. Jay comes, sub, substance, the word substance comes from the word for clay, clay. which is za. za. And uh, what's a za kim? Za kim. Some, a potter? Good. Uh, oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, ken yeah, means er. Parts, right? It doesn't mean kin. Don't confuse it with kin. Uh, ken means er. So yeah. potter is clayer. Clayer. And, and where is a potter? Where is a za kim? So link number two. So you know that's link number two. It's Zakin. called a zakin. How do you spell it? R D Z A M K H A N. M K H A N. H A N. And many many people confuse it with Ken. 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 <coughs> and it's not. Which I just did. Okay, they may be distantly related. Was well, someone who knows how to do something? Mm. Uh, anyway, uh, the spelling is suspicious. Uh, anyway. Uh, Zeyo means substantial. Now, if you go to substantial in, in Changya Rupi Dorje, oh, you yeah. will hit it 5,000 times. Oh, yes. oh. Uh -huh. There are many, many, many ideas of what substantial means. Many. Okay? So, you can go crazy trying to figure out all the substantials. Okay? So, we're going to translate this as substantial in the sense of. Okay? Substantial in the sense of. In the meaning of Rankya Tupa. Self standing. Cool. What's Rankya Tupa? Self standing? Yeah, self standing. Mm -hmm. Self supported. <coughs> this is the integrity of the green Um. Yeah, I like to use the image of. Uh, <laughs> one of those big construction cranes making those high, tall buildings. And there's a guy down below with a radio, and there's a guy way up in the top in a tiny little box, a glass box. Those guys, I don't know, I'd be scared poopless to be up there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they are running the, the machine. So we this, like, this kind of emptiness is the emptiness of a person who's sitting up here somewhere in your brain mm -hmm. and running the body. Raise your arm, Geshe Michael. Put your arm down, okay? And we feel like there's some me up here somewhere running the body, okay? So it means that. Now, I challenge you to make a distinction between Rangkya Tupa and what's the other one? Rang Wang Chen. Okay, so in the first kind of emptiness, we have Rang Wang Chen which means independent, mm -hmm. uh, or self-standing, or, uh, or you can say independent. I was Rang using autonomous in my book. Independent. Uh, maybe. You don't like that, okay. Uh, it's maybe okay. It's just hard for people because we don't use it very often. Uh, it's only used for political regions which run their own governments. But anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but you, you're going to have to distinguish in your own mind what's the difference between Rang Wang Chen, 
which is the first kind of emptiness, which was the soul thing, independent, doesn't depend on the body. You know, if you die, it's going to float to heaven. And then Rankya Tupa, which means uh, stands on its own. You know, often Rankya Tupa means I don't need, I'm financially independent. You know, I don't have to depend on somebody else. I make my own money. I have my own job. I don't. I don't have to depend on somebody else. That's what I'm okay. Is this yeah. the third one? The six flavors. Uh, yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Is it the third or the second? Second. I, said, second. I think I split the first into two. It's the second. I think you did. I thought you did two. But maybe I didn't. The third. No. Yeah, it is my only. But yeah. I no. This is. This is. I mean, the flavor. I don't remember. Yeah, third, fourth, so anyway, third it is the one in the second one. <coughs> is there a difference? Second. Second. Huh? Second. Second. Yeah, unfortunately, though, we're, we're in the lower middle way. Is there a different taste here in the sense that, like, the the second one implies some, like, like it exerts some control that the first one doesn't? Like, we've always talked about yeah, the crane well, opening, but does the first kind of a soul necessarily... What's Rang Wang Chen mean in the first one? I just wrote 140 pages of notes about yeah. it. Yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. give it to you if you want. We got it. Yeah. Kate J covers it in, uh, right. in Dong Tun Chamo. Okay. Uh, now, I want to point something out. This is lower middle way. Shouldn't they have a more sophisticated right. description of emptiness <laughs> uh -huh. than, than the second of the six flavors? Right. Uh, Anybody have an opinion? Maybe it means something subtly different here, like uh... I was just hoping he just wasn't done. Yeah. <laughs> there's another phrase. Uh, mainly, there's three kinds of emptiness. Uh, sorry, there's three kinds of no self uh -huh. in the lower middle way. Uh -huh. Mainly, there's three kinds of low self. Mm -hmm. And no self in the lower middle way. Okay. Uh, if I remember correctly... Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember correctly. Uh, right. First of all, I have to divide it into things and people. Right. Uh -huh. And one of them gets divided into subtle and rough. And I don't remember which one. I think it's... Uh, both. both? I thought it was both. But well, they both do, but the, f the, the obvious version of the person one doesn't even count in their system. Right. So they start with the subtle one of the person, then they go to the oh, obvious one of, th of things, and then they go to the subtle one of things. Something like that. Oh. I may have it a little wrong. Okay. Anyway, Course the point is, um, of the two kinds of m misunderstanding, mm -hmm. the one which is, is, triggers the 12 links mm -hmm. has to be mm -hmm. aimed at the person. Maybe person. Uh, yeah, oh. the person, as opposed to things. Okay. Except he's just made the karmic yeah, connections. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Blend, blend, anyway, uh, don't worry that this sounds like a lower one, because it is a lower one for them. <laughs> and it's easy, according to them, it's easier to see that emptiness than the higher kinds of emptiness. Higher Madhyamika says there's no difference. Mm -hmm. They're all the same. Mm -hmm. Difficulty. But according to this school, mm -hmm. uh, someone who's not learned a lot, they can see the first one but not the second one. Mm -hmm. Like that. Okay? Yeah, okay. All right. So, you got it right. Two of course, fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. It's those three. Uh, so <laughs> two of person, one of person, and two of things. Yeah. Okay. Good. And they say that um, the one of person which is rough is so obvious it shouldn't even count. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Lorang toki momba. Okay. Lorang toki again means of its own accord. Self. You know. Top means power, right? What's top she? Four power. The four powers of confession. Oh, sure. Purification. Oh. It's the same spelling. Oh, oh. Top mm. means power. Sanskrit? Power. Uh, oh. Ba. Vega. Oh, vega. Yeah. Which is why it's a cooler call a car of Vega. Oh. Although it blew up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they choose names that have a deep subconscious mean, I mean, a good car company will, will choose a name that has a lot of subconscious echoes. Uh, <laughs> Mongba we had before. Uh, Dark. Darkness. Yeah. Darkness. Yeah. Confusion. Okay. Uh, Mongba we had before. 
And and I, as I remember earlier, we had a difference between Momba and Marikpa, right? From last term. Well, one could be a mental function, and that's in my book. Who, in your book? Yeah. Whose book was that? It was really extensive about the yeah the darkness. Um, yeah. Yeah, as opposed to cloudiness. But what was the point? I don't remember. I still haven't figured out the point. <laughs> <laughs> But we looked That's into why it. We don't it was it was something about it being a mental function. Yeah, it was. Uh, you know, it was neutral. It was it was lumaten. If the karma was neutral, like okay, yeah, karmically active. Or okay, not, that was the whole point. Okay. Anyway, we had it in his text. Okay. Uh, so mongba means it can mean confusion. confusion. It can I'm mean a darkness. <laughs> mental darkness. Okay. Here it is. Dupe Karanki dupa means. Uh, which is included into either one. Okay. Which is included into either one. It's got to be a semtun. Mental function. function. Mm -hmm. What's the word? What's mind in Sanskrit? Chitta. Santana. Chitta. Chitta. Well, Santana is the mind stream. Mind stream. And Chitta is the body. Chitta. Chitta. Yeah, Chitta. How do you say? I read in Russian. Paruski. Chitta. Chitta. Uh, or yes, chitta. Yes, chitta. Yes, yeah, I think. Yeah, I, I think or I consider. Mm. Cool. They they add an s. Chitta. Chitta. Same root. It's cool. cool. Or or to do accounting. Sting. Same chitta. So it means chitta. Uh, then in Sanskrit, when you say it's a derivative of chitta. No. You you strengthen the vowel. Chaita. 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 Yeah. Okay. So mental function is chaita. Sam chung is a translation of chaita. Okay. Uh, mongba. Darkness. Mental darkness. Confusion. Okay. In the tantra that we are mainly studying, Vajrayogini, there's a famous song about her. Very very famous. Om Mukte Renji Mukte Kundi You are the one who defeats all. Mong, mong makers, mook makers, and rang makers, <laughs> which are three kinds of confusion. <laughs> okay. Mongpa and mookpa. Yeah, good luck. Mongpa is more confusion, and mookpa is more darkness. How's that? And rangba is more like uh, mindlessness or something. Like a wolf is a rangba. Like a what is? Wolf. A mad wolf. Crazy wolf, rabid wolf, cool. rabid wolf, rainbow. <laughs> it can also be related to roots for naked. It's not anyway. Uh -huh. Naked emotion. Samjun Momba, Marik Betseni. This is the definition of misunderstanding. He didn't say something. You tell me. He didn't. There's something he didn't say here. Just before Marikpa here. Between Mongba and Marikpa, there's something he did not say. Oh, possessive? And, and you should, you know, there should be a shishin. There should be a mental alarm go off. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Aki so Kui? <laughs> no. An S? Um, I could have two coffees in this time. Yen la tambo Marikpa Oh, this is the, uh, the, the yeah, which is first. the first link. Yeah. Which which functions oh. as the first link. Oh. He didn't say. Oh. He didn't say that. Right. Okay. okay. It's significant. Mm. He's defining misunderstanding in general. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Oh. But he didn't right. use the modifier uh -huh. which which functions as the first link. He didn't oh. put it in here. Mm -hmm. Okay? So now whether he wants you to assume it or he's giving a more general definition, we'll find out. Okay. I suspect he's going to give a more precise one later, but I'm not sure. No. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's go. Uh, I love these books, by the way. Uh, go. De la dra de dra edre de la de chip Ricky Goni Chena Yun Mong Chena Yena 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 Okay, good. Uh, 
Now, this is Adam for you. DJ Ricky Gone. DJ Ricky Gone. Oh, it's inexpressible. Super idiom. Rick. Super oh. important idiom. Okay, so make a note, put it in your dictionary. Okay. He's making an idiom dictionary. Not an idiot oh. dictionary. Okay, DJ Ricky Gone. DJ Ricky Gone. Okay, this is a very famous thing to cover yourself in a debate. Okay. So gone means through. through. It literally through. means through, through the door. door. Oh, through. You know, okay. so in in Tibetan through the door means by means of or oh, through okay. via via. Uh J means okay in words. Rick means okay. Rick means okay. J means to state. And Damon's with words. It's instrumental with words. Okay. Through. Okay. To state in words means just normally. Just normally. Which normal. means implies what? That there's another form. Of this division is um, theoretical. False. Uh -huh. Oh, false. It's not real. Okay. Oh, so one okay. of the members. Is, okay. We can. We, you know. In common parlance, in the mm -hmm. way the world talks, we mm -hmm. can divide it into two. But it implies that one of them is not real. Uh, uh, we okay. can say. So, yeah, yeah. It just means we can say. We can say. Okay. Mm -hmm. How many kinds of people in this college? Mm -hmm. We can say there's two. But it means I don't really believe it or something like that. You mm -hmm. know? One of them is not real. So when you say, when you see Deje Riki Gone, it means one of the divisions which is about to come is not real. Oh, okay. Oh, but it's commonly talked about. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, which one he's talking about, we don't know yet. Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. There are two kinds of misunderstanding. Nyomong Chen, here's your Chen. Mm -hmm. The one which is not Nyomong Chen, and the one which is Nyomong Chen. Chen means has, possesses Nyomong. Okay. Negative emotions. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can say mental afflictions or afflictive mind, but you go do the waiter text on afflictive mind. Okay. I have an afflictive mind. What do you think I should do? You know, and he's like, maybe you should take some aspirin. Try the risotto. <laughs> so don't use words that the waiter won't understand. That's a Diamond Mountain. Uh, sorry, SCIM rule. Okay. You're you're translating. You're not philosophizing. And you're not trying to get tenor, you already have tenor. What? You do? Tenor? Well, I'll tell you, mess up. Oh, that's not tenor. That's not <laughs> <laughs> you have to mess up big here. I okay, mean, that's probably to, true. You have to use a word I don't like. Okay. Uh, okay, so he says, some of those misunderstandings are are negative emotions and some are not. Some are not. Okay. Generally you can think of negative emotions as things which hold you back from achieving Arhat. Nirvana. 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 Yeah, Arhat. Lower Arhat. Lower. And then you can think of uh, you know, deeper kinds of misunderstanding as holding you back from Buddhahood. Yeah. So we divide two kinds of obstacles. Obstacles that prevent you from reaching nirvana, and obstacles that prevent you from reaching Buddha. Buddhahood. Oh, one okay. is called nyinje, yomong ki dupa, and one is called shije dupa. And it's interesting because in the first case, the name is the content, right. yeah. Yeah. and uh, in the second case, the name is the goal. It's a goal. Uh, yeah, obstacles to all things understanding all things, mm -hmm. and obstacles which consist of negative, negative emotions. Okay, different criteria for the division. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's saying there's two kinds of misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. One of them is. is not a negative state of emotions, mm -hmm. and the other is. The implication, because he said Dejuki Reki Gone, mm -hmm. is that one of them isn't real misunderstanding mm -hmm. that we're talking about here. Mm -hmm. Which one? We don't know yet. Oh, not the first one. <laughs> well, let's see where it okay. goes. Dumbo Dung, read this. Dumbo Dung, Shedri Dung Chi. Yeah. 
Uh, what's dun cheek mean? The first, the first is the same as uh, obstacles to omniscience. Yeah, or sometimes dun cheek means synonym. So, oh, or, so it means or they mean the same, or they refer to the same thing. Oh. Dun cheek means one meaning. Literally, ekarta in Sanskrit. Ekarta. 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 One meaning. One Same thing. Okay. So, a kind of misunderstanding which doesn't consist of negative emotions is a synonym for uh, obstacle to omniscience. omniscience. Uh -huh. Yeah. She. She means kun she, or knowing everything. Okay. Yeah. Repeat again the last sentence. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the obstacle to reaching omniscience. Uh -huh. It's uh, the same meaning. It's the same as misunderstanding, which is not tied not up with tied negative up. emotions. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because if it was tied up with negative emotions, it would be an obstacle to, to the nirvana. nirvana yeah. Okay, got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher, okay. I have a question. Uh oh. <laughs> His questions are always hard. Well, I mean, um, when we talk about the circle, so yeah. our heart, after getting rid of the negative emotion, yeah. will be out of the yeah. circle, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that, so does it mean that Arhat still has these uh, um, obstacles to the omniscience? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's okay. the obstacles you get between Arhat and Buddhahood are called the obstacles to omniscience. So, yeah. But we also have them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But mainly, it's talking about what does an Arhat have to do to become a Buddha? Yeah. So that although Arhat is outside of that circle, but still there is yeah. this obstacle. <laughs> He's not quite to this guy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Or not, not quite that. Okay. Who's this guy? The Buddha. Yeah, pointing to the moon. Oh, okay. He's, he's not quite there. He's between the circle and the moon. Okay. You know, I mean, sorry, he reached the moon. Well, no. <laughs> okay. okay. Anyway, he's not this guy yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so okay. Why doesn't he use yin? Why does he use don't you? Uh, this is called an equational sentence in, in Sanskrit and Tibetan grammar. Oh. And it means, uh, some equational sentence means uh, you don't have to use the word is. Oh. It's just understood. Mm -hmm. oh. you, you say two objects, oh, and you put a period. Oh. You know, utpala uh, none. Yeah. You know, utpala none. And it's, it means she is a nun. Okay. So in in some languages, you don't have to say is. Yeah, what's your name? I am joy. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Jo yeah, I joy. I, yeah. <laughs> I joy, which means I am joyful. Mm -hmm. or I'm happy. Yeah. Yeah. What is this yeah. 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 Uh, first one. First one. Oh, the first one. Yeah, okay. this first kind of two kinds okay. of okay. The first market book. Okay. Uh, now, this is cool because we're being spoon fed the truth. Okay. We don't have to think. It's not like the debate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just take yeah. it what he says, you know. Oh. And you don't have to like, oh. Okay. Some students in the monastery, they're like, oh, I hope we get to the Narmak soon. I don't want to. I don't want to think about all this stuff. Just tell me what's correct. This is American system of education. Yeah. This is what's correct. Learn it, memorize it. Tomorrow you have a quiz. Don't think about it. Okay. <laughs> uh, if you divide the misunderstanding which d is involved with the mental, uh, sorry, negative emotions, negative emotions, if you divide that, there's two kinds. Okay. Yema means divide? Yeah, ye, ye means to divide. To divide, okay. It's also a verb which means to open a door. Okay, oh, which is divided. Yeah. yeah, because you're dividing. Yeah, yeah. that's a cool image, right? Uh, yeah, what's, uh, what's the, one of the biggest uh, bad deeds in a, in a monastery or a nunnery? It's yen yen. yen is to split the monks and nuns into two parts. Yeah. The heaviest karma. A they, ca they describe it as a direct attack on the body of the Buddha. To, to separate monks and nuns inside a monastery, to, to get them angry at each other, mm -hmm. to cause a fight in a monastery, mm -hmm. is, is right. extremely bad karma. Okay. Uh, Yena, and it happened in my monastery, this, in this generation, after 600 years, oh. they split, mm -hmm. uh, this, this last few years. Oh. Okay, uh, very terrible. Lendeki, Jawa Rapala Momba, Maripa, Misunderstanding, which is a confusion or darkness about 
the gross, the obvious connection between karma and results and its consequences. Okay? So that's one of the kinds which is involved with negative emotions. Okay? And Kansaki Dang Zin, holding to a self nature of the person. Holding to a self nature of the person. You know, in a sexy translation, I like to say, holding that the person is the person. But I think it's a little too much here. <laughs> okay, holding to the, holding to a self nature of the person, as opposed to things. Things. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, then he's gonna divide the second one. Okay. <laughs> okay. This layang means you can further divide the oh, second one. Okay. The belief, zin, belief in the self nature of the person, mm -hmm. okay? You can divide that into two, well, three. He's going to make it three. Oh. The one which mitpa, which mitpa. focus towards, mm -hmm. me, la. Mm -hmm. Me. me. Okay. The one that's focused on me. The one which is focused on me. Na yi wa. Na yi means my. And na yi wa means mine. Stuff which is mine. Oh, mine. Okay. Literally, it's mine. Okay. Na yi means my. Na yi wa means those things which are mine. Which My ear, my nose, my kids. Okay. Uh, all right. So. Uh, One is focused on me and me. mine. Yeah. Okay, mikpa means focus. focus. And we call that has a special name, which is jikta. Mm -hmm. Okay, jikta. It's called the view of destruction. Sometimes I just say destruction view. <laughs> There's no easy way to translate it. There's no smooth English. Forget it. I've tried for 30 years. It's, it has to say destruction. And it has to say view. Okay. Now there's two reasons why it's called destruction. Because it destroys you and because... Because it's... It links to destruction. Use the thing which is destructible. Because it's, it's describing things which all are impermanent. Yeah, uh, let me think. One is that it's, it can be destroyed. You can get over it. And then, secondly, it's the reason why you're going to die. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, that's three things. <laughs> okay. Uh, by the way, if you spell jik with an S, jiks, it changes meaning completely. And it becomes to be afraid. To be afraid. okay. So, her name is Jigme, which means fearless. Abaya. Abaya. Fearless one, which was Naropa's name. Uh, personal name. So uh, it's cool, Jigme. As in G I G S without yeah a apostrophe G I G S J I G S means fear. Oh, apostrophe so, yeah, G I G S. Yamantaka or Bhairava is called Jig J, the one who makes you afraid. Bhairava, the B H in English comes as F. So it means fear, fear, fear maker. Bhairava. Yeah, yeah, uh, Yamantaka, same. Okay, anyway, uh, so don't make a mistake. If it doesn't have an S, okay. uh, it means destroy. If it does have an S, it means to be afraid. The pronunciation is exactly the same. Mm. Okay, because the S is silent. Mm. Okay, jikta dang. Uh, and then there's the dang zin, the holding to itself of okay. a person, mm -hmm. which is focused on other people. Delation. Delation. Other things. Other, other things. Okay. Which, which implies people. So can I say that the definition, can I say that the definition of the first link of samsara, the one that triggers samsara, mm -hmm. is misunderstanding your world? Mm. Not exactly. No. no, you cannot yeah. say. You cannot say. Mm -hmm. Part of your it has to be focused towards a person. Person. Yeah. person. Mm -hmm. Not things. Mm -hmm. yeah. It has to be focused towards a person. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if part. I'm if I have misunderstanding about things which are mine, yes. is it is it the first link? Yes. yes. So we have to expand the definition. It's focused on me or mine. Me person or person's thing. Oh. Okay. 
Now, what if it's what if I'm focusing on sugam? Um, no. Yeah, doesn't qualify as the first link. Mm -hmm. You know that because you went through the shenlu Right. You, you went through the. The discard. Yeah, the, you went through yeah. disproving the other guy. Yeah. So you already know that. By the time you get here, yeah, you're already sensitive to that, that yeah. to focus on someone else mm -hmm. and misunderstand them is not the cause of samsara. Unless he's mine. Okay. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Unless it is mine. Unless he's mine. Well, that's true. Like <laughs> you can have this debate. <laughs> you, that, you know, if you were in a real class like, in a monastery, you'd say, oh, I got one I got one to use for later, and you would not mention it. <laughs> <laughs> you'd say, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's for tonight. You can see the guys in the class, they're going like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll use that tonight. I'll use that tonight. Okay, yeah. Okay. But then, then why does it mention there are others, other people? Well, eventually, he's not defining misunderstanding as the first link yet. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So okay. He didn't before. say as the first link. Okay. I bet he's going to say it eventually. I'm waiting. Uh, uh, okay. I think he's going to pop the punchline. He's going to say, and only that one is the first link. Okay. So he's kind of setting you up. Oh, misunderstanding has all these divisions. And this is misunderstanding, this is misunderstanding, but only this one is the first thing. I, I hope he says that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, okay, here we go. Uh, let's see if he says that, I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here we go. Okay. Uh, okay, the definition of misunderstanding as the first link comes later. Right now he's just describing misunderstanding. Four in minutes. He's got four minutes to get down there. He's, I don't think he's. I don't think he can do it the way Geshe Michael goes. Uh, okay. Uh, he's gonna give an example of the first one. Okay. He's gonna give an example. He's, the double means such as. Okay. So you, you glance down there and you say such as. Now you know he's gonna give an example. Oh. Of the first one. Uh, what is the first one? Focused on me. There's three here. Focused on me. Me. Focused on mine. Mine. Focused on all other things. Other other things. Probably other people. We don't know yet. He said focused on other things. Others. He said focused on others. So. Other than that, he said. So it was kind of left it open for different ideas. Okay. Here's an. Here's a, a, an example of the first one. Here's an example of the first one. Rangyu la dembe kasakyu kingnam yu kingnam shepo kami man minne. Now this relates to whose text? Nick's text? Where were, where were we just talking about? Uh, the two kinds of consciousness. No, it was yesterday. Two kinds of consciousness oh. could be me. Oh. Um, yeah. uh, we said uh, consciousness of, of the mind or or uh, your thing. <laughs> mind only. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, the split. oh yeah. Yeah, we talked about that. Whose text was it? Yeah, yeah right. Hard pressed to remember. Was it yours? Was it my text? I think no. it must have been Nick's. We only have one more left. Nick's. It must have been Nick's. It was Alice Aging. It wasn't mine. It wasn't Alice. I think it was I guess it was my text. It must have been your text. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was your text. Because yeah. we were talking about is the is the zinnam or the sunnam? The, oh, yeah. uh, the, <laughs> the holding aspect or the held aspect? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's Sage's text. Yeah, Why did we get into it? Um, foundational? No, no, that's a different thing. Oh, it's different? Yeah. So okay. Kunshi was the other choice. <coughs> In some schools, <laughs> me is the end of the line. Me is the, me is the end of the line. Me is the person who's aware of the awareness. Me is the person who listens oh, yeah, to the yeah. thoughts come out of the line. Yeah. That's me. Right. Yeah. He's yeah. referring to that. Oh. Mm, yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, so... It can be focused, the, the misunderstanding it focuses on me, mm -hmm. can be focused towards uh, me, na, mm -hmm. or, am um means or, or um. na, or 
Yiki number ship. Mm -hmm. That consciousness. Yeah, my awareness of my thoughts. The person who's listening to my thoughts. Mm -hmm. So it's very interesting. In this school, the first kind of misunderstanding, mm -hmm. when you say misunderstanding sugam, mm -hmm. it either means me mm -hmm. or the person listening to my thoughts, which for them is equal to me. Oh. Okay, where's the real sugam? It's not the thoughts floating through his mind, it's the guy listening to those thoughts. Oh. Okay. Listening to the thoughts. The witness. The real sugam is the witness of his thoughts. Can it, can it also okay. just be the sixth kind of consciousness that we all accept? Yeah, it is. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. But this is an awareness of, of that thoughts. And, okay. But it can also be all your, all your perceptions. Mm. Okay. The person watching through your eye. Mm. The person watching your eye watch things. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay, in this school. Okay. 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 Who's aware of seeing. It's 745. Okay. Yeah. Let's finish this sentence. Rangila Dembe. So, uh, which, which exists in your own mind, okay? Which exists in your mind. Rangila Dembe, which exists in your mind. Uh, and is focused. Mikpa, okay? Karu? On any one. At, one. at either one or both okay. of uh, the me. The me. In your mind, okay? <laughs> now, this second you, okay? This second you uh, is more like within the person, okay, the flow of the person or something, okay, uh, the flow, of, this is more flow, and this is more mind stream, okay, a kazaki gyu, the flow of the person, okay, uh, the, the me or the consciousness of my, of my, of my mind, Mind, by the way, in the Abhidharma, consists of six different things, you see? Uh, the awarenesses of color that I had the moment before, the awarenesses of sounds I had the moment before, the awareness of smells I had the moment before, the awareness of taste I had the moment before, the awareness of touch is the moment up from the moment before, and the, and the thoughts I just had that just went through my mind. Okay, and that's all ye. Yiki datu, datu. Okay. Then to be aware of that is Yiki Nambashiva. Okay. That becomes all those of the past moment, the six awarenesses of the past moment become the object of the current mind consciousness. Abhidharma, very helpful. Very helpful. Okay. Nambashiva karuna migne. And it believes, okay? This zin means it believes. Don't always translate hold, okay? Uh, it's... It, we don't say that. Uh, my wife holds that I have my hair is too. I should put water in my hair in the morning, which is what happened today. <laughs> we had a long discussion about it. Uh, so you don't say my wife holds. You say my wife thinks or my wife believes. Okay. So zin. Uh, it didn't work anyway. Zin that uh, the person. Okay, is. Substantial in the sense of self-supporting. Uh -huh. Substantial in the sense of self-supporting. Okay. Kansa Ranga to You do as hold it to be. Hold it to be. Okay. So so what's the definition of the misunderstanding focused on me? Give me some pieces of it. Any pieces. Misunderstanding focused on me. It should Look at me. me no, not the, mine the yet. Stream of me, yeah. The stream of the It should look at me or consciousness or, or, or my mental consciousness, 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 consciousness or my mental yeah, you know, or the person watching my thoughts. Mm -hmm. okay. And it should believe that it is self standing substantial in the sense of self standing. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we'll get more detail on what the self standing means. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's the first one. That's the one that holds to me. We didn't do mine yet, and we didn't do other. Okay? We don't have those two yet. He doesn't define them, he just gives a classic example. And he's just breaking down the definition of Murray Fett. He's setting you up to give you the definition of misunderstanding as the first link, but he didn't get there yet. He's giving you many kinds of misunderstanding, and the punchline 
you know, in, in an hour or something, it's going to be, by the way, only this one can trigger samsara. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the one you have to go after. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want you wasting your time on other kinds of misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. You know, so, so if you're a teacher mm -hmm. and you're teaching your text, what you want the audience to go away with uh -huh. is this is the one you have to attack. Mm -hmm. and, and we had a long discussion in the devil meets the angel, or, you know, and, and he kept saying over and over again, uh, don't waste your time on a meditation if it doesn't hurt this one. Yeah. If it doesn't? If it doesn't hurt this hurt. attitude, uh -huh. this perception. Oh. If it doesn't attack this guy, you don't have time to do other ones. Okay, okay? you don't have time to meditate about, whoa, 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 whoa you know. You, your meditation should be a weapon that attacks this specific belief. And if it doesn't, you're not meditating. Mm -hmm. and that's first Panchen Lama. Okay. Wow. He's very, very you know, to the point. uptight about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's not meditation. It's not meditation. Yeah. You know, being calm. You know, it's it's not meditation. Meditation is a tool which attacks the first link. Wow. That's all. Wow. If it doesn't attack the first link, don't spend your time on it because you might die tomorrow. If you live longer, you can do it later. <laughs> but, but kill the first link first. Because then you're in nirvana, you know, and then you're out of this circle. But don't waste your time on this. Well, well, you know. Okay? You're passing on that. Here we go. Sasi Puri Jushime Tokchang Riramin Shinyan Degen Padi Sange Shindu Mikte Uwargi Jokun Nanda Shingla Chuparsho Inam Guru Ranamanda Kam Niryatayami Dewa Ki Dewa Kun Sunam Yeshe Sok Sok Shin Sunam Yeshe Le Chung Wei Dham Bar Kun Yi To Bar Show Cool, your Tibetan's hot, man. Thank you. I don't know who's the hottest person in this room, but there's a couple. <laughs>